All right, guys, today is a huge day. I had the axles back. We just unwrapped them. This is that I needed to finish. Last night, um, I drilled the cradles. Power up. So they're going on this build. guys today is a huge day at the shop we just got back from ocala we got the axles back we just unwrapped them uh dude basically you guys saw us just over there and brought them back bro look at them in the sunlight absolutely killer we got a lot more parts in the bed and we also have a lot more parts inside we have a whole lot of parts to unwrap prepare and throw on man <laughs> <laughs> no cheesing man no cheesing what man. am i thinking about what are you thinking about man i'm thinking pj has a lot of shit to unwrap he's been here for hours i got more done than he did um i don't really know what to say about that dude if we're, if we're gonna go in like this should have been done yesterday but i didn't have the cross member pieces until enough, yesterday enough. and i needed to put the transfer case before i put the cradle up you so i needed that before i could finish that agreed, agreed. okay Come on, what was your plan for today don't uh, say ride dirt bikes. <laughs> I'm gonna go as long as I can until I can. Yeah? And then we'll go from there. And then we go to bed and then we wake up doing that same thing. Alright. A lot of work ahead. And we're done for pick, pit bike rides. Uh, as soon as possible, honestly. All right, so quick update. What's Not going a quick on? Update, bro. We need an update. All right, huge update. So PJ finally came back. He was actually super rushed to get home because he wanted to ride his dirt bike. So I got the pieces that I needed to finish. Last night, um, I drilled the cradles. From last night, I was waiting for the cross member that um, PJ brought today. That way I could put the index plate and the cross member. Um, the index plate, cross member. So I got that thrown in. Um, I'm just mocking that up. I got to put this cross member that goes cradle to cradle and then once I get that together um, I'll probably start on the rear coilover perch on the back side and then the front buckets haven't even seen them PJ hasn't unwrapped them Huge day for the SEMA truck. Let's check on what's going inside. So basically, over the last couple of days, if you guys saw in the last couple of videos, we fully assembled everything. Joey got all the overlays on. He assembled the axle truss. He got the bumpers together. He got all the parts together. You guys will see a little bit more of that in this video. All right, right here, you guys see we have our shipment from Carbon Shocks. So basically, we have front and rear coilovers. Then you guys will see all the shocks later. But basically, we got the springs. We got the springs chrome for this truck. So. Dude, just a, something you guys haven't really seen on the channel before, maybe in a couple videos, but basically all the springs get sand blasted and then they get chrome. Uh, dude, totally a different kind of look. We got one mounted up now. You guys can see it hanging. This one obviously has rear, so George is gonna throw the rest of it in today. And dude, I'm pretty sure today is gonna be a really big day to get all these parts in. Uh, dude, we got a lot of stuff. We're just missing heim joints and the hood stack piping kit, which you guys see go in and then we're gonna get everything to work, so you guys see a big day of work ahead of us? Dude, we got two days technically. basically what a high steer knuckle is and how it works. So this is our factory 2015 knuckle off cam truck that we're doing for SEMA. This is an OEM uh, knuckle off of 15. Basically we're gonna use the stock steering end, drill it out, and then we're gonna use a full Heim joint that we'll just bolt through 
And then on this side is actually kind of where the difference is. So Manny at Poppy's Garage had this shipped out to Texas. So basically what they do is they mill this flat, they tap holes, that way you can have your plate. So this plate lines up here. So that's why they mill it flat. And then this is made out of billet aluminum as well that we got powder coated. What basically what happens is this is your factory end. So now what happens is it separates your lower tie rod bar. So now this will connect to this with the lower tie rod bar and then your drag link, which usually clamps here, like if you have a factory truck, now your drag link's up here. So it raises it so there's less angle on the heim joints. Yeah, what do you got there, bro? We have OEM hubs for Cam's truck. Um, I mean, there's really no reason not to get it done. The truck's got like, I don't know how many miles, but it's uh, it's 2015, so the truck's a little bit older. They're probably OEM hubs that we took out, so we got them replaced with a set of OEM hubs from from Ford. So, dude, how come you don't do upgraded hubs and you do OEM instead? Uh, I mean, there's like a couple of companies that sell. Um, Upgraded hubs, OEM hubs. Every truck you guys see we build have OEM hubs on it. Three inch spacers, 26 by 16s, 37s, 40s. This truck's gonna be on 30 by 16s and 42s. OEM hubs. I don't know. It's what's worked for me, so I have no complaints. And they have factory two year warranty. We got the actual assembly. You guys have seen it. So we got the gear set in. We got the front um, diff cover from G2 in. Um, we got OEM hubs in it, OEM ball joints. You guys see it? We love the Power Stop brand. Future at the Power Stop. So they're going on this build. Um, as well as we're about to throw on a set of shifted industry spacers. Listen, we're clearing by this much on the bottom of this truck. Don't know how we're gonna jack it up, but you guys will see. All right, man, so we got the front fully assembled. Now we're about to start working on the back. Are you ready, Joey J? Bro, I'm hanging out, so I'm going to bed. Time boy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. This thing weighs a ton. So we're about to throw this over there. Dude, this thing looks like it weighs a ton, too. It's like 4 a.m. I'm pretty tired. I don't usually stay up this late. It's it's 4:30 in the morning. Joey doesn't stay up past like two ever. We just got both axles hung. So real quick update on the front. So every single piece of this lift kit already has every single faceplate installed on the truck. So it already looks super sick. We got huge shout out to my chrome place. They got these coil springs. They like expedited these for us just so we get this truck done. So we chrome plated. The coilover springs, the whole front axles already reassembled, uh, new seals everywhere. We put new hubs, new set of power stops, brand new set of shifted three inch spacers, um, new radius arm bushings. So the front axles pretty much are done. We gotta get the calipers thrown on and then the front shock. Actually, these shocks are sick, triple bypass um, carbon shocks. We got a sick set of triple bypass shocks that you guys will see pretty soon. Um, so the, 
rear axle is disassembled still, I guess you could say. So I gotta just throw in the rear hubs, uh, assemble the brake caliper stuff, um, and the brakes. But it's hung. We're waiting on Himes. We'll get them tomorrow from Manny. So then you'll see the full length track bar. The truck will be on its own way tomorrow. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys the main sponsor of this truck. is actually, it's through Max Diesel, but it's bulletproof pitches. So here we have a 16 inch drop hitch. We have a 16 inch drop hitch. Obviously it's powder coated shock yellow to match. We also have the frame mounted sway bars that are gonna go on this. And we actually powder coated the frame mounts black and we got the hitch balls in black. So this is 516 and two and 516. So dude, basically this is a little way to spice up in the back. You got a little bit more powder coat. And dude, it's supposed to be really good for towing. So, and obviously being so high in the air, this is gonna come down 16 inches and this kit's supposed to sit at 20 plus 42 inch tires. So we'll see how it goes, but huge shout out to Bulletproof Fitches. And dude, we're gonna see how this product installs. Today is a big day. Dude, we have technically two days left. So today, you guys, yesterday you saw we hung the front and the rear. Yesterday we got the whole front taken care of. Today, Joey built the whole rear axle. We got everything all the way into the diff cover and the gear set. And basically, if you come over here, uh, you guys see, we're actually throwing a hood stack in from True Horsepower Diesel. So they actually hooked it up and sent a hood stack. In two days, they were able to make all the piping, send it over. We got the kit overnighted, the hood stack overnighted to get powder coated. So we did black with a green overlay. Now we got the hood stack going in. Dude, it's actually kind of sick. We have to cut the hole in the hood two days before SEMA. So there's really no time for a mistake. Then we got the Bulletproof Hitch, which is like the main sponsor for this. So yeah, let's see what happens. I'm about to hit the man today is a super big day at the shop we're gonna put the truck on its own weight we got a lot of things to do today but we got two days so let's get it done man the headlights on this truck we're gonna throw in a set of alpha rexes paint match to match the truck so you guys see here they're taking apart this is usually orange paint match black the leds kind of sick. Alright guys, so basically Joey just got the front four link in and the rear four link. He's tying everything up. So basically what we have to do now is put it on its own weight, which means it's time to put the wheels on. Absolutely insane. Dude, uh, maybe not in this video, but in the last couple videos, 
You guys saw we mounted these wheels. They're 30 on 42s. Dude, they're powder coated in the back to match the green. Uh, dude, absolutely insane. Obviously, they're KG1s with max in the lip and max uh, floating caps that we'll have for them soon. So, dude, we got a lot of little bit of work ahead of us, but the major issue, look over there. Dude, when it's on its wheels, look down. Do you think it's going to fit out of the shop? going to be nice. It's going to be nice. It won't fit. Dude, maybe. Dude, comment now. And if you're right, then you're right in 10 seconds. Get out of the fucking truck! <laughs> <laughs>